It's spring. And I'm starting working again. It's been all winter. I haven't done anything. I'm so excited. Get this place going. First project, window and door bucks. Double wall construction has dense pack cellulose in the middle of the wall. In order to keep that cellulose from spilling into the window cavities, you have to have bucking in place. I have the bottom plate here, but I've got to go up the wall and across the top, and that'll keep the cellulose in the middle. When I framed all my windows, I had to keep this bucking in mind half an inch on either side. So if you are starting your framing process, make sure you remember that. That's not something you wanna have to try and recover from. Let's get to it. So after getting everything cleaned up, finding all my tools, plugging in the compressor, I'm ready to get going. So I pull out my plywood, start making my measurements, making my cuts, bringing them over to the door frame and nailing them in. I uh, ultimately didn't realize this before starting, but I only had uh, two sheets of plywood to work with. And so I was only able to do two door bucks on this day. And so, that's why the later videos, there's no snow and there's leaves on the trees and that's because I had to wait until more plywood came in. I'm installing the window bucks before the outside wall so that it gives me a little something to build the wall out to. For the majority of my walls, the window bucks actually provide the support to the outside wall and in spaces where there are no windows or doors, I tie the actual wall back to the inside wall with bracing. What I'm gonna do is basically nail them in the openings. I have already pulled the plywood out of the truck. I ripped it to width. Set your table saw up right behind the truck where you have the plywood. Pull it right out and run it right through the table saw and rip it down to width. Did all of the pieces I had for all the openings, brought all the pieces up, cut each piece on my chop saw, keeping everything nice and square, and then now I'm ready to nail these in. So let's get to it. That is so much better to do work like that. Just set up all of the cuts that are the same and cut them all. And then do the next thing. Set up all the cuts that are the same on the chop saw. Do them all. 
set all the nailing aside, do all the nailing at once. It's so much easier. Do all the measuring, write it all down, come back with your cuts. It's like, it's so much easier. This window book here I've actually got completed uh, and you can see the outside wall sheathing is on and this basically makes up the wall cavity and the dense pack will be inside this cavity here and then I've got a 2x4 cavity here which I can fill with either dense pack or fiberglass bat insulation but that's pretty much it for the window box it's pretty simple I chose OSB so that the vapor inside the house would not be able to transfer into the wall. Um, you can use plywood if you want, but plywood actually has a perm rating, which means vapor can kind of go through it. Um, OSB, there's so much glue that it's basically non-permeable. At least that's what I found from my research. Um, so that's why I used OSB in this case. And for most of these, I used half inch OSB. Um, and then for some of them, I actually stepped down to 7 16 because it was plenty strong enough for what I needed. The only thing that I would caution you on is um, in my particular wall envelope, I wasn't entirely sure where the wall would end up thickness wise. Um, I plumbed my walls from their base plate. And so as I went up the building, I kept the wall plumb. And in some cases, this OSB was inside of the outside sheathing. And in some cases, the OSB was actually outside. And I still have to trim off some of this, this window bucking. So um, I kind of like it like this more so that my window flashing is gonna mount to this sheathing here. Um, I prefer that to the other way. So just take note of that when you're doing this, you know, either hold your OSB in a half an inch and then let your outside sheathing come over it um, or do it the other way if you like. But that's one thing to note with the window box. So yeah, up next, I'm gonna show you building these outside walls. Thanks for watching.